Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your next 24 hours starter reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. This is your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is happening towards you, Sagittarius. What is coming towards Sagittarius, please? What is the message for Sagittarius in love? Relationship dating, getting to know. What is the message for Sagittarius in career? Finance and general situationship. Okay, okay, we've got seven of wands. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Please don't forget to, to, to click the bell. And also, if you would like to further connect with me, um, the details of the website is down the description box below. You will see there uh, the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform in the website. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's the message for Sagittarius, please? What can I get for Sagittarius? Okay. Okay. All right, what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, is you've got the, let's pick up love, career, finance, and general situation. Okay, you've got the seven of wands and the ten of pentacles in here. I feel like there is the seven of wands. This is your energy, ten of pentacles. You're fighting to get something, okay? This is the fight of your life. This is destiny. This is something that you want for yourself. This is a gift to yourself. This is a reward to yourself. You know, seven of wands, you're fighting to get the money, the partnership, uh, the stability. The ten of pentacles is, you know, marriage, stability. This is the ten. This is ultimately will make you stable for a very, very long time. This is long term as well. So you're fighting to get a marriage, a relationship, a long-standing contract. You're fighting to get what you deserve and what you deserve is the Ten of Pentacles. You're not just fighting to get it, but you're going to search for it. You're going to do all of your best and your passion to get the Ten of Pentacles. So depending on your focus, but something tells me this week, your priority is about partnership, stability longevity money you know the amount you know the exact thing that you want and you're going to fight for it you're going to search for it like you're having a conversation to the universe the star in the moon and you're telling them i want a marriage i want a business i want this i'm gonna fight for that you're very sure of what you want i mean if this is a money you exactly know you 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 exactly know the exact value so if you're fighting for someone to pay you like if you're negotiating for a contract you exactly know what you want you're gonna tell them i want one million nine hundred ninety nine thousand point thirty cents you know so there's something specific that you want and you want it for sure you're gonna fight for it you're gonna search for it and you're never going to let it go like this is the, the vibe i'm getting in here sagittarius is that the last four months of 2022 you are going to search for the ten of pentacles this is the search yeah there is a search for something that you want surely is you want this yeah ace of wands look at that so for some of you guys you're going to focus on finding um, a relationship, um, a creative project, a creative business, uh, the, the Ace of Wands. And you have one. You're going, don't ever stop. If you're looking for a relationship, if you're looking for stability, if you're looking for a relationship, if you're looking for stability, if you're looking for something great and you feel like that's that greatness, that's something you deserve it, you have an ace of wands you will get it you know don't ever stop searching for that greatness for that valuable ten of pentacles fight for it call on it you know call for the call for whatever you want search for it 
You got a Ten of Swords. By the end of October, the fighting, the looking, the searching is over. You'll be very, very happy that you never gave up. There's something, you have a focus. There's something that you're focusing and you have an idea on how to get it. You're starting, you're building something, could be job, could be business, could be career, it could be love. Whatever this is, don't ever let it go. Because I'm seeing at the end of October month, Nine of Cups, your wish is going to come true. Whatever your focus right now, keep doing it. Keep pushing it. You know, if you fail, stand up, go, try again. October month, Nine of Cups, you get it. You get it, Sagittarius. Okay? You get the price. You get the reward. Not, not a very simple reward. A big reward. It's worth fighting, searching, looking for. It gives you Nine of Cups. This is like wish come true. My dreams are falling into places for you, Sagittarius. Okay? So whatever that is, whatever whatever you are, whatever it is in your mind, in your heart, keep planting the seed. If there's a detour, don't give up. October month, there is an amazing ace of wands. There are an amazing result. Reply, respond, reward. okay all right so you've got the knight of wands in here the empress card i feel like there is something about travel wellness and you've got the intuition card in here and the queen of pentacles for some of you if you're wanting to have kids baby family um, Knight of Wands, the Empress card, there is such a an advice or a focus, Sagittarius, to start your, like, you know, like for example, you want to have a baby, you want to have a family. There's something about health reason. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to move. There's something about health and wellness about the Knight of Wands and the Empress card in here. And it's kind of telling me if you want to have a baby or be healthy or be fit, you got to start now. You know, you have to allocate time and invest to whatever you need to be healthy, to have baby, to achieve the wellness, whether it's an inner, inner thing that you're like, you know, because like an inner, what do you call it? Inner glow up, you know, maybe this emotional and mental glow up that you're wanting to do allocate time take it seriously make it a priority make it a focus because queen of pentacles in here it's achievable and it's part of i feel like the intuition card in here it's kind of telling you it's time to look after your health your mental wellness your emotional when wellness it's time to look into that you know, it's kind of nudging you to be more like a life, what's, what do you call that? Life balance, li lifestyle, lifestyle change, lifestyle change, lifestyle upgrade, health, wellness, emotional and mental, you know, taking care of that area in your life. Most specifically, if you want to be a mother, if you have a family, if you want to focus on if you're going to embark a new journey that in that might involve your mental emotional and physical then you gotta start you know doing the prep to your body emotionally mentally so for example you can you know that you're gonna have a business so emotionally mentally you need to coach yourself you need to be mentally and emotionally stable grounded there's something in here that you need to prepare it will be different from each one of you but if you listen to your intuition, it's already telling you, Sagittarius, prepare yourself emotionally, mentally to whatever you want. It involves that. You know, there's a, it's time for you to reflect on how you were, you're going to prepare yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. This is a bit demanding. Whatever this is that you want, it's a bit demanding, but it's also glorious. There's a sense of Whatever you want to achieve, it's demanding, but the amount of happiness, 
contentment and joy it will bring you it's amazing okay so there's a little bit of hard work consistency and focus is being advice for you Sagittarius let's look at the Queen of Pentacles in here well you look at that you've got a family you've got what what you want there is a best outcome for you judgment card this is the outcome and it's a good outcome could be family it could be you know ultimately you're gonna have a family ultimately you're gonna be married ultimately you're gonna have the best time of your life you know judgment card so surrender like set your intention to the universe set your intention there is a new moon it's in virgo so set you set your intention i think it's falling into your 11th house but set your intention prepare your mind your heart your soul emotional mental physical plant the seed do the actual action invest in it and it will grow when you've got the judgment card you know don't just say it do the action do the move okay all right let's see what else is coming towards you okay you've got a seven of swords there is someone in the past who is lurking and stalking yeah it's a lover you have someone in the past who never stopped thinking about you who never stopped stalking you who never stopped believing that you and them will someday have a two of cups you know this person if you look at the two of cups two of cups look at that cloud the cloud is dark this person is never ever surrendered sagittarius their thoughts it's clouded by dark energy a little bit desperate you know but they still hang on to the idea of you and them to a point where it's no longer healthy there's a seven of swords in here this is a relationship reading you know they're with somebody they're with someone and yet they still desire you they still compare you and whoever they have right now you know yeah look at that car guys three of swords yeah you know three of swords someone is desiring you someone is it what what i'm hearing sagittarius is that someone is desiring you is wanting you and it's illegal the way they want you they desire you it's illegal it's it's if you can read mind this person could go to prison of how much they desire you of how much they want you to be always available and single they want you to be single and free whenever they've sort things out they want you to be there which is like hmm, Sag sagittarius never wait yeah look at that see they abandon you left you out and still desire you look at that look at that guys desire you this person heavily desire you sexual desire mental emotional everything about their life is about you but they never committed to you stupid this person is coward this person you live in their mind in their heart you live virtually in their mind in their heart physically for some reason they could not make it happen these are all virtual seven of swords this is what in their this is what's in their mind in their heart it's still you're still the one i don't know why how can this person live like this i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a card let's get a card and see will they ever break the bubble because they're they're in the bubble like there's something that's preventing this person to chase you or be with you will they ever break the bubble go out in the bubble and not just desire you take action with their desire they desire you and i'm really getting like this for yeah, three of cups look at that i'm gonna put it back this person the way they desire you it's illegal if you can read mine you'll tell this person that's illegal you're married or you're with somebody or you're there we're no longer to 
we're no longer together and yet you desire me like this you know you think of me every day and night that's illegal to go to jail if there's a law like that they'll go to jail okay okay there you go that's the jumper card two of pentacles yeah they hesitate they live in their mind virtually they hesitate they hesitate they love you from a distance this whoever this person is it's pathetic yeah told you guys there i would say this person is coward they desire you long for you they want you but they're so coward to fight for you that is their choice you know sometimes people would just declare defeat it's easier for them to declare defeat than to fight you know because sagittarius is a fighter is a doer this person is not this person is contented somehow you live with them virtually yeah so not all people are like you sagittarius you would fight if something is wrong you will make it right you will correct it this person is weak and so that and that's the reason why they don't deserve you because they're weak so if you've been stuck with this person cancer scorpio pisces capricorn taurus very good gemini libra aquarius gemini it's time for you to detach it's this person will always just be like this desire yeah look at that desire this one wanted to flip eight of pentacles daytime they forget you because they're wrap up with work at night they desire you here ace of pentacles only time can tell when will it when only time can tell when will they have the courage to offer the ace of pentacles probably in the future but i don't think i don't yeah four of pentacles in upright position still they're still holding back okay let's see if i could still pick up the same energy okay yeah sadness sadness they don't know how they don't even know how to express their pain their hurt their sadness this person is so sad this person is living like a zombie living somewhere out there physically but emotionally mentally all they want is you uranus is going uranus is going to go retrograde it's going to be slow but steady and i don't know how long will this person queen of swords your this person will deal with the queen of swords this person will deal will the I'm getting that this person will deal with their own sorrow um, before this person is sad leaving and not fighting for you Sagittarius now this is very important I'm just downloading the message at some point very soon this person will drown in sorrow in their own sorrow they will drown in their own sadness they will drown their sadness their emotional sadness will drown them and queen of swords this is a point where when they feel like they're drowning with sorrows this is where they try to run away again with their sorrows but then this is where they feel like it's time to break free it's time to break free from their sorrow and acknowledge their feelings and possibly face you six of wands they will resurface yeah ace of swords this person will come to a point where they are i'm seeing this person going to a point of sadness sadness loneliness boring boredom everyone around them is happy but they're not their sorrow their longing their desire to be with you it's going to drown them and after that they will snap you know 
they still last minute they will still avoid it no this is my decision is right to leave Sagittarius then their sorrow drown them and they snap six of so six six of ones because this is six of swords six of swords whenever they think of you no I need to move on I need to move away from Sagittarius then the sorrow kicks in and they snap no I need to return this is the truth like it's a person, goodbye, 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 running away from you. Six of swords, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It doesn't feel good. Saying goodbye to you, it doesn't feel good. They stop and snap and run back in six of wands. In the middle of the night, you might receive a call, a text. Worst cases, you will see this person standing in front of your door. To do what? An ace of swords moment. I hope it's not too late. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.